Hello, this is the fifth part of the Stoneheart add-on for Blender tutorial series. Um, yeah, you've demonstrated quite some endurance if you made it to the fifth part already. And the fifth part will handle the meta files which are used by the add-on. This is not something which is required by Stoneheart. It's really something specific to the add-on and I want to give some background information why I think it makes sense to have them and what is the advantage of them. So you see here I've loaded just a rabbit from the graphics test, actually from the first one. And if you load an object file into Blender, you might end up with something like this. So you have all the body parts with their origin at the center of the workspace here. And if I grab one of the body parts, you see they are not linked. So whichever part I take, you see the origin is taken also, this orange dot, and they are not linked. So to create animations, we need to link them, we need to move this origin or pivot to the right point. And that's something which we can partially do with the skeleton file, which is provided by Stoneheart. Let me open the rabbit one, that's this here. So what you see in there, the skeleton file includes for each body part the coordinates actually, and only the coordinates. So by using this skeleton file in the add-on, we are able and let me just do this here live and in color. Um, that's this one here. Um, you saw, yeah, you will see here skeleton file loaded rabbit. So we can take the information provided by the skeleton file and add them here uh, into the, the scene. And this will mean that we will be able to adjust the origin plus there are some body parts for the rabbit, it's only root, which is a bone, a helper bone. So this is not a real body part, it helps just for animation purposes. And they will also be added. And let me just do it. That's actually here, prepare skeleton. There we go. So what happens now, you see the origin has moved for all the body parts. Before that they were at the center and you see this gray block here, that's actually the helper bone, which has a standard size, which is defined in the add-on. So if the add-on does not know anything else, it's creating a yeah, rather big block. The idea here is to have it big so you really see it. You can always adjust the size. But that's what we end up. still. The body parts are not linked to each other and yeah, this big block is not looking so pretty. So that's now actually where the idea of these meta files is coming in. So let me show you a meta file for the rabbit, which is this one here. Actually it's an additional piece of information for the um, for the skeleton file. It includes two kinds of informations helper bones, which is related to these um, gray blocks here. And actually it includes the name and some position or sizing information for it. And it includes hierarchy information. So the way this is built it up, it's actually the most right body part or name here is the parent and all the others left to it are children. So here the right ear and the left ear are children of the head. And by applying this data, let me reload the scene here. So I'm importing once more the rabbit. And now in addition to the skeleton file, which is this one here, I will load also the meta file. And by doing so, I see here now the skeleton file rabbit and the meta file meta rabbit. So by including now both files here in my add-on or importing them, 
if I prepare now the skeleton, something else will happen in addition. So we saw already, due to the skeleton information, the origins will be moved. That's what happened here. Now the meta file is taking um, or is also imported and it's used to define the size of the bones, like this one here. It's now smaller. And we see it here in the tree. Also, the hierarchy is set now. So let me demonstrate this once more. I take the head, I grab it, and now we see the ears are attached to the head and everything is actually attached to the root. And that's what we want to have for the animation because then I can just take the head, I can move it and the ears will move and I can take the body and move it up. So that's exactly what we want to have for the animations which makes our life much much easier. So that's where the meta file comes into, into play which means that it includes this kind of information and actually I distribute already the meta files which I have prepared for the standard worker or settler and for the rabbit because these are the two models which are known now and the good thing about this meta files is that it's really it's a text file it's a JSON format like that's the skeleton and here's the related meta file and you can share them so the idea behind that one is that whoever is able to create this meta files and I will do for sure some of them can share them with the community and you can just load them and also download them from the page where you can download add-on so you can use them um, to ease the work a little bit with known models. So I hope over time we will have a repository with a lot of these meta files. And if you create own models and you want to create custom animations for them, you can also create such a meta file for your, your own um, creations. And that's included now in an updated version here. So if you go to export and you say stone half, then you have the choice now to not only export the skeleton, which you need to do always first. And the second one is you can export the meta. So this will create a meta file as you saw it. And finally the animations. So you can create actually with this add-on your own skeleton, later on your own metadata and you can just every time you load it, you load your met, uh, model, you load the skeleton, you load the meta file, just press your one two buttons and you're ready to go. So that's the, the idea. And as I said, the meta files, they are not very difficult. It's JSON format and it just includes two different types of information. One is the helper bones, so for the humans or for the settlers this will look a little bit longer, you will have a little bit more helper bones and the hierarchy might look more complex, but that's the reason why I took here the rabbit. And it includes just simply the names and some location data for the helper bones and if you work on your own models then the add-on provides also some support which is here this custom helper bone. You can activate it, another section will pop up and here you can create these bones in exactly this look. Let's take just one here, let's call it test. Let's take the standard settings, edit and here you go and now you can move it in your custom designs to wherever you want but that will be actually part of the, I guess it's already the next video of the series where I will go once through the through the whole workflow for custom models actually. So I hope it was a little bit 
um, interesting again to understand what the idea of these meta files is. Um, I don't want to have this kind of information included in the add-on because every time I change something you will need to update it which is painful. So I like the way it is now that you can import them, that they can be shared, that actually hopefully the community will find this useful and create also some meta files for models which yeah which will take me just a while to do them for for all the creatures and uh, NPCs which you will find in the in the game. The good thing by the way is here that this data it does not include a location so you can use one meta file for the male and the female version. Not that it really matters with rabbits, at least in Stonehalf, but with the settlers the position of the bones might be a little bit different, the origins and so on, but that's not important, that's all information which is included in the skeleton file. So the meta file you need to create it once for let's say an arch type and you can use it then for the male and the female version. So again I hope this was kind of interesting. If you have questions on that just post a question in the official forum or on uh, stonehearth.de and yeah, we'll try to provide some additional information on that. Thanks for stopping by. Wish you a good day. Take care.